Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to check out our latest video that we shot in Fredericksburg at Lady Bird Johnson Golf Course. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you're new, uh, feel free to subscribe and comment. We really, really appreciate it. Um, been a little slow to get a new video out, but super glad to get this one out so you guys can check out the golf course um, in Fredericksburg. If you're in the area, I highly recommend it. Um, the course is in great shape. We had a blast, got a chance to play with my brother, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. I'll be jumping in and out, and um, hope you enjoy. And once again, going off with two iron here, it's my old reliable, especially when getting just started in the round, I like to just go off with something that I feel really confident with. Uh, got a funky bounce in the fairway, uh, but was overall pretty happy with it. Um, you always happy to hit the fairway off of the, uh, off the uh, tee on your first shot. It's always a really good feeling. Been getting a consistent 250 to 275 with my two iron. Yeah, there I am adjusting. <laughs> but uh, getting a consistent you know, 250, 275 off with my two irons. So definitely not too shabby and uh, always a good option. And Marcus just went on to smash that one. He played really, really well um, over the course of this round. And uh, we both did. It was really nice to play well together and uh, share that experience. It's always a lot of fun when we both are in the groove and, and playing well. So I'm sitting in the dead center of this fairway, but I've got this tree just in front of me that I got to stay under. So I had to kind of just negotiate a little bit of a punch and keep it low. Marcus sent a little runner in there, but it halted and really worked out for him. I landed a little bit short. I was really happy with uh, the shot, but just landed a little bit of short and uh, needed to just rely on my short game here. Yes. Hole two, another par four, playing a little bit short. So I decided to go off with another two iron just to put myself in position.
really happy with this um, approach shot that I hit here with my 60 degree. Um, I've brought in a few new wedges, a 60, a 56, and a 52 into my game, and been really dialing in the uh, under 100 yards game and uh, really seeing that pay off over the last few months as I started to feel a lot more confident um, with those random shots under 100 yards. Mark is here with a really great putt. He's been utilizing um, an old putter of mine, a Callaway Bobby Jones edition uh, putter, and he's just been really, really dialing in with that and rolling the ball so well. Really, really wanted this birdie. It didn't drop, but um, overall really happy with the, uh, the putt. <laughs> I just, uh, just got away from me just ever so slightly. Marcus just launches like the most beautiful draw off the tee here. You can see it beautiful take draw. off to the right side yeah, and draw. it just worked its way in beautifully. It was just like a picturesque draw. I kind of caught this two iron a little bit, um, a little bit off the toe, but luckily um, that uh, ping 410 has got that tungsten insert at the end and uh, definitely provided me that. Um, that forgiveness that I needed on shots like that where I sometimes catch it off the toe and kind of worried that it wouldn't get over the trees and into the fairway, but uh, we ended up being in an okay, decent position. So just a quick little late up there. Luckily it was a par five, so I was able to just kind of throw a wedge out there and get myself into position for this approach. Yeah, again, Lady Bird Johnson looking nice. You know, is it the greatest track in the world? No, but it was fun, you know, and the plane was definitely um, a player throughout the round, flying over uh, flying over the course throughout the day. And uh, it's definitely out there and definitely making noise for us. But uh, I don't know, somehow or another, it felt like it was, uh, it was very fitting, like it worked in and it was just an actual part of the round. Slow. Didn't get the video, but we went on to tap those in, so that was nice. Uh, I think this is the uh, next par five of the uh, of the front nine. So I go way left. Marcus goes way right. And somehow or another, we tried our best to meet in the middle and, uh, and get back into position. Go. 
So left this wedge a little bit short, but um, I'd like to go with the bump and run. Uh, more often than not, I'm usually using my 60 around the green. I feel pretty confident with it after a few months of practice, but my eight iron bump and run has been just so reliable for me and I feel so lethal with it, um, especially around the green where it's, uh, we almost kind of have a putting option. Uh, I like using the eight iron and kind of uh, taking a putting stance almost and kind of throwing it off the toe of the club. Cuts like this always feel good, you know, getting up and down for par and, you know, after kind of getting out of position off the drive, but and it just goes to show, you know, you're just, uh, you're never done, uh, you know, get, get back in a position and, uh, you know, par's still there and I mean, you just never know, right? So I was glad I was able to kind of stay focused and finish, finish the hole. This was a pure nine iron. I think I maybe had about a 160, 170 yards. I couldn't believe I needed to go down to pitching wedge. I ended up flying the green. Um, wasn't sure how much the down one would affect, but I was a little nervous to hit a 170 yard pitching wedge, but uh, this was the result. Great little routine uh, par there for Marcus. Did a great job and still trying to finish out this hole here after uh, throwing it over the green on the second shot. Nice little double there, you know, but uh, stuff like this has been really great. You know, I've uh, kind of go on here to uh, get a little emotionally flustered, but that's been the work, you know, having holes like this and then just going on to have nothing but fun and just remembering what the, the whole point of being out there is. Uh, so get a little flustered uh, for the next couple of holes, but then able to finish nice and strong. And I think that's um, that's been the most important lesson for us this year. Marcus with the money drive there and... Uh Another kind of toeish two iron that kind of bummed me out for a second. I was just like, oh man, not another one, but um, kind of threw me out of position. But uh, again, the um, emotions uh, play such a big role and I've really learned um, so much since this was, so, we filmed this, I want to say, uh, I want to say it was in July. Um, don't quote me on that, but it was this summer and uh, we've made uh, big leaps and strides in our emotional game since then. So can't wait to put up a new video. Um, kind of showing off and displaying those new skills and emotional control. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of work, but it uh, definitely needed to happen in order to take um, my game to the next level. I know a lot of people can, um, can understand and, um, and see themselves in that as well. Marcus here with another money drive, utilizing his draw. Um, he's been really excited. You know, he's been working this new draw in his game, and it's just really, really been consistent for him and um, maximizing the distance out of his um, out of his tee shot. He's been doing so well with that. So it goes to show again here, emotional off the tee led to, you know, a funky little shot and uh, kind of remember the things that I told myself that I was going to utilize mentally uh, should emotions kind of arise again. And sure enough, is able to calm down and pure an eight iron to greenside. You know, so I've got to say, you know, I end up being grateful for those shots that kind of throw me off uh, off course, you know, and uh, it's just always an opportunity to level up and um, be able to I guess uh, push emotions aside and teach myself that they're not that big of a deal and it's really easy to just uh, push past them. Hi. So we're only showing you guys uh, actually 10 holes today, but this ended up being, I think for Marcus and I, the two moneyest tee shots that we had off of the off of the tee for the day they were they were just uh really 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 awesome drives uh and maybe uh, the next hole after this uh might be uh 
a debate for um, the tee shots of the day, but we felt really good about these. such a great nine holes we really played well uh it's just fun to kind of bounce off of each other and uh hole 10 we had a little bit of a gallery as some people were letting us through so you know the pressure always comes on and you always want to hit great shots if people are watching and we, we did just that oh, it looks so whenever good. people let us through you know we like to be nice and quick just a quick little punch there to lay up and uh Felt really good just knocking this one in the air and going, all right, that's on the green. See you in a bit, you know, and uh, just kind of keeping play, uh, pace of play along and uh, getting out of the way for the people that were kind enough to let it, kind enough to let us through. Well, that's the front nine yeah. of Lederberg Johnson, guys. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Feel free to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Warms my heart to see all these views, and we will see you next time, guys. Thank you so very much.